Now, well, you guys just got back from Florida where you took a very impressive seven to two win, your most lopsided win of the season. You guys were up three just in the first, came back, also scored four in the second, a season high four in the second. Did you guys change anything going into that game? What was clicking out there? I wouldn't say we changed anything. It's we played to our potential and the pucks finally went our way, bounces went our way, and uh, we we did have that confidence after the third to continue scoring, uh, back that up with great d defense, especially from our new goaltender, Patterson. And uh, once we got scoring, just we confidence kept building up. And like I said, the pucks bounced our way, and we played a complete game defense and offense. And speaking of defense and offense, it did. It seemed like a well-rounded game, a full team effort. Mm -hmm. And not just offensively, but defensively. You guys only allowed two goals from the top-ranked Florida Everblades. Mm -hmm. And you had a new goaltender out there, Kent Patterson. What did you think about the defensive effort? Uh, it was great uh, when you only allow two goals from Florida Everblades, who are known for scoring four or five goals every single game. They're a running-gun team. Uh, it just goes to show what we're capable of and uh, our potential. We can play like that every single night, and um, I think um, our confidence is building, and we should be able to do that more often. Now, this afternoon, you guys take on the Indy Fuel for the first time. It is also your first 12:30 game. Do you guys take that into consideration? Was it? Did you prepare differently going into today's uh, matinee game? Well, I didn't get my uh, two-hour pregame nap that I usually get, but you know, I got to sleep in and uh, got a big breakfast in me. So yeah, you got to prepare differently. It, it's a different feeling. It feels good. And uh, it'll be interesting, interesting to see. I've never played at 1230 before, but I think it'll be fun. And essentially, right after this game, it's the All-Star break. Um, one of your teammates, Brendan Walker, was actually chosen as an alternate to the All-Star game. Um, do you have any plans for the All-Star break? None, which is what I'm really looking forward to. I'm just going to relax, let my body recover mind and body and um i'll i don't know just enjoy time with family and friends well that sounds like a great all-star break mm -hmm.